Hi there, this is Chris Barrow and what I'd like to do today is to uh, just open up a spreadsheet that I use on a pretty regular basis with clients and uh, this is a spreadsheet that's actually measuring the client's key performance indicators. Now what you can see here is that I've actually taken a group of clients from a couple of years ago and uh, what we've first of all done is we've inputted the uh, gross annual revenues into the practice. We've then measured as a percentage of turnover, uh, we've measured laboratory fees, uh, staff salaries, material costs, the operating profit before tax as a percentage and also the operating profit before tax as a finite number. You can see also I've measured how many uh, days per week the principal is delivering dentistry and uh, various other indicators down at the foot of the spreadsheet. But what I'd like to focus on over on the right hand column of the, uh, the spreadsheet here are first of all the uh, ratios that we measured from this sample of clients compared to those which apply to the profession as a whole. Now what's my source information for that? Well it's a combination of two things. First of all my own uh, research uh, of something over 700 practices in the last 14 years and also put, uh, figures that are published by the National Association of Specialist Dental Accountants. So you can see that the profession averages for laboratory fees, and this is for a general dental practice, um, uh, are around about 11%. Uh, staff salaries, 17.5%. That assumes that all associates and hygienists are self-employed. If you had salaried hygienists in the mix, you would see that rise to 20%. You can see that material costs are a fairly steady 7%. And also that for practices of this size, I would expect to see an operating profit before tax of around 27.5%. The key issue here is to measure your own key performance indicators, preferably on a quarterly basis, perhaps even monthly, uh, if you are able to perform just-in-time accounting. Um, but I do think that once a year is uh, too big a gap between review dates. If you can measure these key performance indicators on a regular basis, uh, then what will happen is that you'll be able to get an early warning system that will tell you uh, whether or not, in actual fact, your practice uh, is performing according to its required parameters. Um, now, obviously, at a later date, what we need to do is to consider what to do uh, when one of these key performance indicators starts to change.